Hi everyone and welcome to Creative Cakes by Sharon. Today I'm creating a Rainbow Bite Cake. Rainbow Bite is of course a Shopkin Season 1 toy. She's super simple to make so let's get started. Now you only need one cake to make Rainbow Bite and I have one here that I simply need to cut in half. Now using some frosting I'm going to stand both halves of the cake on a cake board and sandwich some frosting between the two halves as well. Now it's onto the crumb coat and once the cake is fully covered I need to pop it in the fridge for about 15 minutes to set. So now once the cake has come out of the fridge I'm going to add another layer of frosting to the cake and put it to a side. The Rainbow Bite toy is actually a representation of a slice of bunt cake and it's generally purple, orange, yellow and pink. But today I'm making the more colourful version of Rainbow Bite as she appears in most artwork. I've made a simple template for the rainbow using some parchment paper and cut out the semicircles as this is going to make it a lot easier to get the correct sizing of each strip of the fondant. Now here are all the bright colours we're going to use to decorate Rainbow Bite with. So starting at the bottom and working my way up the rainbow I need to cut out the blue section first using the template as a guide and then attach it to the cake using a little bit of water. Remember to attach both blue pieces of the rainbow so you cover the front and the back at each step. Now it's just a matter of cutting out each different colour of the rainbow and attaching them to the cake. To create the eyes, I've just cut out a series of circles and I'm layering them together. Once the eyes are ready, I'm going to stick them onto the cake as followed by the little eyelashes. Of course I need to add her mouth and nose. And I'm outlining the mouth with a little bit of fondant to make it stand out, but you could use an edible marker to do this as well. To complete her face, we need to add the eyebrows and pop two little round pieces of pink fondant at the front for her feet. Using the leftover frosting now, I'm just going to pipe it all the way across the top of the cake. You could even just spread it on and then finish her off with some colourful rainbow sprinkles. So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching my super quick and easy Shopkins Rainbow Bite Cake. Don't forget to give it a like if you did by hitting the thumbs up. Also make sure you're subscribed to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button you see on screen now so that you don't miss out on any of my creative cakes or recipes just like this one. And be sure to check out some of the other fun videos I have on screen now for you including one of my other Shopkins cakes of Cupcake Queen. Guys I always love hearing from you so please drop me a line in the comment section below with your feedback and suggestions and you can also connect with me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram and Twitter to see some of the other things I get up to as well. I hope you all tune in next time and as always thanks for watching.